Right, before you watch this re-edited video, I just want to point out a couple of things of why I've done a re-edit and why I've uploaded it again. The first one is, I've learned a lot on how to do video editing. I don't know everything, there's a lot I still don't know and I'm still learning. I don't really understand how to do colour grading properly and I don't know what the nodes do. I know a little bit about them, but I don't really understand what nodes do when you're doing video editing. So that is one of the reasons I'm uploading because hopefully I've done a little bit more editing and there's a bit of zooming in and zooming out and some other little special effects that I think you might enjoy. And the second one, which is to me the most important, when I uploaded the video originally, I got hit with a copyright on one of the tunes and I removed that tune and just let it carry on. But it really spoiled the video without that tune. I thought the tune actually made it, so what I've done, I've put another tune back in and hopefully with the tunes that are in there you'll get a better experience. So let me know in the comments whether you think it is a better experience and whether or not it is worth me doing a re-edit so that you can uh, re-watch the video again. And also it's a two-parter. This is the second part of the video. The first part was basically just the unboxing but I will stick a link in the uh, video description in case you want to watch the first one and also at the end of this video, in case you want to watch the first one, let me know, or you know, click on it if you want. So with that, I'll get out of the way and let you watch the video. Right, so far quite easy. Just remember that when you put these two plates on, leave these two bolts off so you can put this plate on. Make sure the three holes are on the long side of the feet and not the other way around. And just double check you've made it the right length. Right, there are a couple of ways in which you can install this power bank. One is to do what I've done. I've attached it to the uh, cable tray itself, but you can also attach it to the underneath of the actual desk itself as well, just by screwing it in. But I went for putting it on the tray and I used cable ties to secure it. And I thought, well, if I need to move it at a later stage, I can just cut the cable ties and move it. Right, so all I've got to do now is basically connect the cables and tidy them up and then strip my old desk down.
Right, that's it for this re-edit video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you think it's worth it. Let me know in the comments whether you think it's worth me doing a re-edit or not. It'd be interesting to see what you think, whether you think it's worth me putting that little bit extra in, putting the tunes back in or putting a tune back in and uh, doing a bit of a voiceover. So let me know in the comments what you think. And also, I will stick a link in the video description on where you can purchase them legs in case you actually want to buy them. So with that, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.